health and safety number one. Right, here it is, the finished. It's not as complicated as it looks, honest. It's quite an easy build. I'm gonna cut this bottle a couple of times to let you see. And while it's cutting, I'll explain the motors, uh, how, how I did this, how I did this, how I did the chuck, how I did the um, bottle loader, how I did the adjuster to higher and lower the bleed. And that's about it really, honest to God, it is quite simple. So, first thing we're going to do is add a bit of water into the... And that will drip. Can you see that? Not too much. Really. So I'm going to zoom you in now so you can see what the hell is happening down here. Always the wrong way, always the wrong way. How's that? Right, we'll start off with this angle. So I got three switches here. Once spin the bottle. Don't worry about the wobble. Don't do a thing. Now switch the motor on. Lower down the motor. I've done that. I put one of them things in the back of there. So this should screw into there. And it should all it should all fit in there. You just tighten up the screw. I know that one. I put this on now so I can adjust how deep the blade goes just by a few twiddles. She'll go lower, 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 or oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No matter what you say. That was a, a weird shape bottle, so I didn't think I was going to do it, but it did it. It's wider. So these are the only screws I can find. What I want is four inch screws. They're gonna go through there. There and there. I got four inch screws in the van, but and then this will actually float back and forth. It's not tight. That's that's the blade you usually get. But I got this one. In fact, I got five. In fact, I got four because there should have been five. And I'm one short, so we're just having a, a small argument about it. Basically, 
is it. It's a nice clean cut, which I'm very happy with. It takes two minutes to polish up. As you see it's dripping. So what we're gonna do now is another cut. Just higher up the blade, so it's out of your damn way. And do that. So, I'll show you what I was twiddling around the back. So it's just that around the back, that just undoes and that allows you to slide your carriage back and forth. It's still quite tight because it's, it's done about six, six cuts I think. I'd, whenever you want it. So let's do a uh, let's do an half inch cut. Retighten, retighten the clamp. Simply make sure that's dripping in the right area. It don't stop all the dust, but it stops a lot of the dust. All right, I just forgot to write it. On goes the motor. There's another switch for this motor. Slow it down. Take this out and 
sand it or you can leave it in. Sand it. so it cuts the same distance from the truck so every glass would be nigh on the same put a live into the a live into the box loop it over so this motor's on the one live that motor's on the other live obviously you yeah, the neutrals join all neutrals join, it's only run by uh, splitting a live wire. Up to you. So I did it, I'm not saying I said you're gonna do it. And now for something completely different. <laughs> 